Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to join you today in commemoration of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I would especially like to thank the New Jersey Department of State for offering me this opportunity to share my thoughts and experiences as they relate to this special day. On the third Monday of every January, we commemorate Dr. King's service and sacrifice to our nation. Dr. King dedicated his life to a dream of equality and challenged the nation to not judge people by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. His leadership and commitment to equality brought national attention to racism and civil rights abuses and led to historic civil rights legislation through multiple nonviolent movements in the late 1950s and 1960s. Over a half century after his assassination, Dr. King's example still challenges the world to live up to the ideals enshrined in our founding documents that we are all created equal and endowed with unalienable rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. In the Army, we are committed to promoting diversity, fostering inclusivity, and demonstrating respect for all. On this National Day of Service, we honor Dr. King's dedication to equity, inclusion, and freedom. All members of the Army family are encouraged to honor Dr. King's legacy by treating today not as a day off, but a day on. In the Army, we are accustomed to having many days on in order to accomplish the missions our nation assigns us. Today, on behalf of our nation, I would like to assign all soldiers a mission. In the words of Dr. King, let us rise up with a greater readiness. Let us stand with a greater determination. And let us move on in these powerful days, these days of challenge, to make America what it ought to be. While it is true that I am the first African American and the first woman to hold the top enlisted position in the 99th Readiness Division, it is just as true that I will not be the last. I can honestly say that I would not be standing before you today were it not for the efforts of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Thank you again for giving me the opportunity to be a part of this wonderful remembrance of one of our greatest American heroes. As Dr. King noted, freedom is never voluntarily given by the oppressor. It must be demanded by the oppressed.